everybody, how's it going? Octopus here, and welcome to a new game of Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. I'm not going to keep this account or anything like that. I'm just going to make a re-roll guide for you guys to show you for anyone who wants to play the game just for story quests or who wants to start the game fresh and new, or if you're just new to the game, welcome, guys. This is a re-roll guide and a little bit of guidance to show you how to have a good start. So, I went through the little story in the beginning. They asked me for my name. I I was going for Jellyfish here, guys. I wanted to put Jellyfish, but it didn't fit, so I'm just going to be Jelly. So, this is my account, Jelly. Uh, Avatar, you guys can fool around with that after. There's some new stuff in Avatar because of Union Cross, so have fun with it. But here you go, guys. This is a new start to Union Cross, a little guide for you guys. This is how you're going to re-roll your account. You have to go through all this. You can skip it. Pick the Union. Um, I'm in the Union Ursus, which is the bear right here. A lot of people like to be in Volps, which is right here. So Volps is one of the hardest ones to be in for ranking. So if you do want to be very competitive, you got to be very active. And you do have to pull a good bunch of uh, a good amount of medals and have a good amount of Lux farming skills. If you want some easy going farming, go for any of the other ones. You can make it into the charge easier. But there is something about if you do go to the lower ranking of one of these unions, just realize that in Volps, which is this one right here, top 1,000 will get a bunch of prizes, where in Ursus, only top 500. That's not the right number, or it might be, I can't remember, but if you're in the lower unions, it's a lower top tier reward gap. So only top 500 in Ursus gets, let's say, a speed gem. But in Volps, the top 1,000, because Volps is first, the top 1,000 will get a speed gem. So that's what you got to take in consideration. Yes, there's less of competition, but you still have to be at a certain ranking. So it's give or take whatever you want to do. But since all my accounts are in Ursus, I'm going to Ursus. And this is basically the new start. I'm going to skip it because for a reroll guide, if you're racing the story, you're going to have to skip this over and over and over again. My biggest advice to you guys is have two devices. So before I continue this quest right here, have two devices. One device that you're going to have for your main login and another device, uh, device to actually log out of it so when you log back into the game it's going to say new game or migrate data if you only have one device you have to uninstall it install it back in or clear the data and that takes, takes too long there's other ways but it might get you banned so we're not going to talk about those just have two devices something like two phones a phone you don't use anymore but you're able to download the game into it make sure to do that okay so after completing the first seven quests you're going to come to this screen right here um, a little tip for the quest guys if you are going to re-roll and you're gonna have to do this over and over and over again. Just skip all the enemies and go straight to the target for each quest. There's no point of actually taking out all the enemies. We have zero AP going on right now, so you can go redo those quests again if you want to take all Mickey heads. You understand that if you are new, you'll, you'll see it's a little black Mickey heads. They'll turn yellow if you complete all objectives. So we're on this screen, it's asking us to download. It's gonna do a little quick download. That's a pretty cool kid picture of uh, Darkseid right there. So None of this was around. Oh, by the way, those heartless, you can just tap on them and just for satisfaction of just killing them. You don't get no reward for killing a whole bunch of heartless that are appearing there, those shadows. It's just for satisfaction. So this is why we are re-rolling because the one year anniversary going on right now and that pull, that five pull. So we got 2,000 free jewels. We got 3,000 for celebrating. We're gonna get our two Mickey brooms. And trust me, if you're new to this game, this is incredible. Having those two Mickey brooms makes a world of a difference. We get 5,000 for the pre-registration. We get seven of these moon medals and 1,000 more for 60,000 pre-registrations. We get 50, 300 for our first day, and there's a lot more to this. So right now, I'm gonna click on present. I'm gonna collect everything, and we're gonna have a total of, uh, I'll try that in a second, of 11,650. And that's good enough for three pulls right now. We need 12,000 for four pulls. So instead of doing these three first pulls right away, I want to do all five pulls. It's recommended that you guys just do the three pulls. If you don't get anything good, then just dip out and go. But I think a little bit more of extra luck, let's say doing four pulls in a row, instead of doing like three pulls, stopping, doing a quest and going back in, I think the game might calculate if it, it, it's it's probably not. I'm just being crazy, gambling addiction kind of person. But I'm not, by the way. But do four pulls instead of just doing the three pulls. Uh, it's faster to do the tutorial, run in, do your three pulls, and get out and not do these quests at all. But you get the extra thousand and something you need so fast. You're going to see right now, I think one of these quests are going to give me a thousand jewels. I'm now level five. 
which level up is going to be really quick on the weekends. But right there, guys, a thousand jewels. So it is so much better to come in here, do this quest, get that little bit of extra jewels, and then continue on to your pull system. All right, here we go. We're on the shop screen. Yeah, I have 1,300 jewels. I was just exploring some quests to see how many more jewels we can get. But from this point, all you need is 1,200 jewels. That's four pulls. 3,000 per pull. You're, all you need is 12,000. And this is where you're going to determine if you're going to keep this account or not. And you want to ignore all these down here, all these SA beginners, or small deals and daily deals. Never spend jewels on this unless you're just feeling bored and you really want to see how good your luck is. There's honestly no point to these. So, same thing with the utility, the attacker, and all the AoE metal ones, these ones you see right here. Skip these as well if you're just trying to reroll and go straight for this anniversary deal, guys, because Mercy Pulling for this Kyrie is going to give you the huge head start. So, rerolling right now or just losing your old account that's a month old and playing this account, this is the best thing to do. So, we're going to do four pulls. In these four pulls, we're looking for boosted utility. Uh, metal boosted metals are strong utility metals or if you get uh, illustrated Kyrie times two you're good two times Sora's you're good we got handsome so here we go we have sorry not handsome Zenmus Zenmus raises speed strength by two tiers of one turn very good utility metal we also got anti form Sora which removes uh, targets buffs which is really important as well this is a very good metal so metals like that guys you really really want so we're going to do a bunch of pulls. Yeah, we know this already. So just keep doing your four pulls. I'm going to talk about anything I pull here, if it's worth it or not. But you want to keep pulling until you see a really, really good metal. Like anything that's boosted, anything that's new, anything that buffs everything. What are the chances of getting two of these? What are the chances? So there's also a trait system. So if we get double attack, extra attack on this guy, I'll show you afterwards. He's actually a really good guy to start off with. Very, very good guy to start off with if you can get extra attack. If not, then just keep re-rolling your account. So this is our third one. I'm going to skip the animation just because it's whatever. Um, another metal, he's pretty good as well. He does lower the target's power base defense. So if you're doing a power setup, he's going to be okay. But right here, guys, Piglet. If you grab two Piglets and you combine them together and get extra attack, you have a times four buffer. So very good, but nothing to keep your account. Magar, another utility medal, but we're gonna pull one more time and try to see if this counts worth keeping. So I am gonna sell, oh, actually, you know what? Since I have the extra jewels, don't do this. Don't increase your storage. Just sell some of those medals that you have and just go for the last pull. Cause just in case you are gonna keep the account, you don't wanna waste those 50 jewels. Either way, you wanna buy storage space and it's a good time to buy now. So it's another reverse one. That's not a bad metal. That's a really good metal as well. So is Iago. Iago restored his four gauges, but we are going to Mercy pull for Kyrie. So really, we didn't get anything too special. This is not a bad start because now you have a speed buffer and another speed buffer plus D buffer. And we have two of them. Everything else here is not that bad either. We have something for taking down defense of uh, enemies. So a lot of good utility metals, but nothing crazy. You want to go crazy. And try to get a really, really, really good start. Uh, let's just go to metal list and let me just talk about that trade thing real quick. We're gonna sort this out into the Zenmus. So right here, he does have a skill on him. He has attack boost one, so make sure you keep the one that has a skill just in case. Uh, the more skills you have, the better. The less you have to waste, and the more of a boost you'll get off the starts. So we are gonna roll a trade for him, and we want a trade called extra attack. So right here, he's going to get combined, and we're going to roll for a trade. This is something new in Union Cross. So if we get extra... Holy crap! <laughs> so basically, what this means... I can't believe the RNG on this, man. This is incredible. So basically, what this means, extra attack, I can activate this metal twice. So for 6 SP, I'm going to activate him for two times. And what that does right now, guys... Raises speed based strength by two tiers for one turn. And if I activate that twice, we're gonna get a times four speed buff. And because his account also pulled him, we're gonna have a times five speed strength buff. So times five and lower one. Guys, that's incredible. This account's actually pretty good. Um, you know what, guys? Let me know in the comments if you want this account. If you want this one and you don't have one and you think this is a, this is actually not a not a bad start 
This is not a bad start at all. That is two very powerful speed setups. Um, it's not the best. I wouldn't say it's the best because it's not all around. You have to stick to the divine roll because you have only speed buffers. But this, so let me just go to Keyblade setup real quick. I'm gonna show you. This is just show you guys examples. You're gonna have him, him. You're gonna have another slot unlocked here. So basically, your buffer. So first slot's gonna be your buffer. Your next slot will be these guys right here. So you're gonna go buff. You're gonna go more buff, more buff, and then you're gonna use a new Kyrie from the Mercy Pull 5. And then on the Divine Rolls, on the last slot is a reverse speed. If you get a really good reverse speed, or on the Olympia, you can use him for damage because he's speed. You're gonna increase him. This setup's gonna work beautifully. So once you get Kyrie, and then you throw this metal here, this is a very, very good starting uh, account. Very good starting account because everything is speed right now. And it's very easy to upgrade those Keyblades. So there's a bunch of guys on my channel. So this isn't a bad account. If anybody wants this account, let me know in the comments. If not, I'm going to restart it again and just make a bunch of counts. So this is the reroll guide. If you get anything like this, you want to see the medals that you guys get are utility medals. So medals that buff, medals that debuff, and all that. So this gives general strength. This gives buffs to, to speed strength. So only speed medals get a buff because that little green dot right there, that's what speed is. If it's power, it's going to be red, so on and so on, so you guys know the difference. So if you are going to use this cloud, cloud lowers the target's power defense, so all your power medals. So if I have other power medals like Zack, he'll do more damage. There's more to go into this, but this is basically what you want to do to reroll your account. You want to load the game, have two devices so you don't have to re-download everything. So when you download it, you're going to get all those free jewels. Once you do the tutorial, and then you're going to complete just the next quest that's going to be a thousand jewels. And you come straight into here, do four pulls. If your four pulls look something like this, or if you get an Illustrated Kari in two pulls, then keep that account, guys. If you get Illustrated Kari, the new one, in one pull or two pulls, then you're set. If you get the Illustrated Kari one that does a times three buffer and heals, you're set. Because on the fifth pull, you're going to get the new Illustrated Kari, and in between, you're probably going to get a bunch of good medals as well. So re-roll guys re-roll until you see boosted medals utility medals power medals will come down the line they'll send in events like the organization 13 medals there's one coming up in a couple days i believe we're on what day are we on we're on the ninth so in four more days we're gonna get another organization 13 member and those medals come out really good sometimes or really hard to get it depends but what starts like this and the way the power creep is happening this is a really good time to start a new account if you're here just for the story mode this setup right here will probably get you through the whole story mode um, not really but pretty close especially when you get into a good party and they help you out um, if you're just your account wasn't that good and you wasted all your free jewels you got from story mode so let's say you're like quest 300 and you have no jewels and you don't have good medals it's a good time to restart it's all up to you guys but this is a re-rolling guide it is time to start a new game or just start playing because right now there's a bunch of free stuff. There's more to this. There's a bunch of new features. There's a bunch of new quests that are going to help new players. You guys are going to have a really comfortable start. Trust me on this. So if you want this if you want this account, let me know in the comments and I'll do some giveaway. I'll put you all everybody's name. Um, let's say, write the word Smelly Octopus in the comment section. Anybody who writes just Smelly Octopus in the comment section, I'll put you guys in a raffle and whoever's name come up, I'll give you the information to log into this account. So to do that, let me just uh, let me just take this off right here. So to do that, we got to go to the home page and we got to make sure we lock down this account. So the way to lock down your account is, oh, there's also all these new avatar boards. I'm telling you guys, it's a very, very, very good time to start. Okay, so on this page right here, you guys are going to see in the bottom right, there's a Facebook logo. So you see where I'm swirling the screen right now? Click on the Facebook icon. You're going to punch in your email and your password, whatever you guys made for a Facebook account that you're going to keep or a fake one you're going to use just to re-roll this over and over and over again. Use that if you want to re-roll. Or if you want to keep the account, make sure you lock your account into your Facebook. So either way, you're going to have to make a Facebook account to save your game to that. If you ever want to switch devices or your phone breaks and you want to recover your game, this is how you do it. So you log in, email, password, log in, and it's going to say your game is now synced up with Kingdom Hearts, so now your account is saved. This also benefits anyone who wants to reroll quick. So the fastest way to reroll without reinstalling the game, going through that whole download, wasting all those megabytes and whatever, 
you basically save your account, even if it's a bad account, the way to reroll, save your account on the bad account, grab your second device, log into that account. So you're gonna see when you first turn on, on your second device, if you don't have a file in that game yet, it's gonna say new game or migrate game. What you wanna do is migrate game, you click on that and you click in the Facebook account you guys did. This is if you wanna reroll. So you log into that game with your new account by pushing migrate data. Now when you turn on this one right here, the one we're looking at, it's gonna do the same thing. It's gonna say new game or migrate game. Obviously because we're re-rolling, you're gonna push new game and you're not gonna to have to go through that whole downloading again. All you have to do is listen to a little bit of a story, hit the tutorial mode, do that one quest for an extra thousand jewels and pull four more times. If you don't like your pulls, do it all over again. But that's faster than trying to have one device uninstalling, installing, so on and so on. There might be other ways, but this is how I would do it to if I was gonna re-roll a new account. So again, if you want this account, let me know in the comments, just put Smelly Octopus, and I'll get all of your ones names who wrote that and put in a raffle. All right, so a couple recommendations. If you do see any medals that are utility medals that are tier four, tier five, that say raises magic. If you get the new sword that's part of this banner, boosted and three dotted, it's good to keep this account. Um, if you get nothing else with it, none of these really good utility medals or two medals like I just did with that Zemnis and I combined and got extra attack, then restart the account, guys. Because just the Kairi and Asura is very generic, and if you get nothing else that's utility that's gonna help you buff or debuff or debuff the enemy, you're gonna have a harder time on the higher level enemies. It's still gonna be very, no matter what you do, starting off like this and getting that Kairi is gonna be really good, but just make sure that you see a Keyblade setup you can use. If you get all power buffers and debuffers, great. If you get key arts that lower defense of enemies, like key art three, or if you get utility medals that say raises buffs of all attributes, that's gonna really synergize good with your Kyrie, your new King Kingdom Hearts 2 Kyrie. Again, if you see Kingdom Hearts 1 Kyrie, and then you mercy pull for your new Kyrie, that's a very good account as well, because now you're your time three buffer, a healer. Well, the healer doesn't matter, but if you see a time three buffer, if you get Kyrie, or you get two Puglets and you put them together, Puglets, sorry. If you get two Piglets or two Poos, put them together and you get extra attack, you have a times four buffer, a very good account to keep guys. So that's what you wanna look out for. You wanna have a times four buffer or a times three buffer and you're gonna have that Kairi. Those two buffs right there guys, it's gonna help tremendously. Anything in between is utility medals. You wanna see really, really good utility medals. Forget about power, power will come as you play. Trust me on this. That's my reroll guide. I hope it helped you out. There's a lot of good tips in here. There's probably more you guys can add, so don't forget to add that in the comments as well. If you want the account, once again, just type Smelly Octopus and nothing else, and I'll put your name into a little raffle, and I'll announce it in my next video. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling, and I'll see you in the next one.